if someone was asking about hints with SKU, and this S is for SKU deviation versus outpatient evaluation for SKU, and hints, the head impulse test, the nystagmus, and the test of SKU are what we use in the emergency room or in the acute setting for deciding whether we have a peripheral or a central cause of vestibulopathy. You should look at the video on hints to look for more information, but the head impulse test, you're rapidly moving the head to see if there's a corrective saccade to implicate the peripheral system. It would be normal in a central vestibulopathy. The nystagmus, if it's purely vertical or purely rotary, the semicircular canals are not oriented in a purely pitch plane or the roll plane, and therefore they cannot cause that kind of nystagmus. Or if the nystagmus is horizontal, that could be the lateral canal, but it's unidirectional in peripheral because you only have one bad side versus bidirectional in the central forms. But the question is about this thing, the test of skew. The test of skew is really a test to see if the diplopia in a patient is from a hypertropia of one eye or both eyes. And that symptom, diplopia, plus that sign, hypertropia, is how we define skew deviation. Skew deviation is a hyperdeviation that is defined by the company it keeps because it's central. It can be mimicked by myasthenia and thyroid. You still have to think about those things. But in the setting of peripheral versus central, the only thing that matters is, is it present, yes or no? And so a lot of the skew tests are not for ophthalmologists. They're just for regular doctors, ER doctors, or neurologists we're not going to be measuring the orthoptic measurements. They're just going to do a cover, uncover test. And if we see the movement, the refixation movement, that the person has a hypertropia, that's actually all you need. Because a peripheral cause should not cause diplopia and certainly cannot cause that hypertropia. And therefore, that test of skew implicates a central cause. In the outpatient setting, you do have to do the three-step test and the ductions and the versions and the cover test because there are a lot of things that look like a skew but aren't a skew. Myasthenia, thyroid, partial cranial neuropathies. That has a differential. There is no diagnostic test to prove that it's skew. But in the ER, just hints.